hey guys so i'm kind of excited about these new contacts i'm trying out these are like a deeper ocean majestic blue they're very natural looking and they're more subtle they're so bomb if you want to see what i'm talking about you can check out cheater stories on youtube and i'll list the link where i got these contacts from so you can buy a pair if you want so let's get into these stories okay first story my ex-boyfriend's best friend was dating this chick for years getting ready to propose when he and her parents got pictures in the mail of her with another guy apparently on the weekends he worked she would go visit her quote unquote girlfriend in pennsylvania really she had another boyfriend he found out about her double life and sent the pictures to expose her oh wow so the boyfriend in pennsylvania exposed her her boyfriend broke up with her, but they got back together and got married. He is a trust fund baby and doesn't believe in prenups. I can't see this ending well. I love the fact that the Pennsylvania boyfriend exposed her for the two-timing bitch that she is. But the other boyfriend, the trust fund baby, he can do better. He can do so much better. Like, you know that saying, there's other fish in the sea. I know it sounds so cliche, but it is so true. A lot of people think that there's just that one or maybe two people in the world that you'll click with that you'll think is your soulmate. But there's so many other people out there that you'll click with. I know you don't think it. I know you can't like fathom it. Even the most intolerant people like myself, I'm very picky and I'm very intolerant. People just scale my nerves, okay? But I know there's several people out there that would just get me, if that makes any sense. Like there's other people out there. This guy settled, why? Low confidence, uh, lazy, you know? People like this, people like him can't be alone. Lonely people like this guy who can't be alone, they're some of the worst people ever because they'll do the dumbest, stupidest shit simply because they're lonely simply because they can't be by themselves really lonely people they become attached and um like they really sink their claws into you they become codependent like they just they can't be on their own like emotionally they can't be on their own like they will settle for garbage simply because they can't be alone or not necessarily garbage, but they'll settle for people that they're not compatible with. Knowing her track record, knowing about her whole activities, he marries her with no prenup. Talking about he don't believe in prenups. That was a really dumb move, you know, like good luck to him. But when people show you who they are, believe them and move on. Next story. After being with my last abusive boyfriend for three years, we got engaged. <laughs> my heart weeps. <laughs> oh okay, I have to read this again. After being with my last abusive boyfriend for three years, we got engaged. All right. After four months into our engagement, he told me he didn't love me anymore. I told him to get the fuck out at midnight. We packed his stuff and he left. A few months later, I was hanging out with my nephew. My nephew asked me where Uncle Kendall was. I explained that he didn't live with me anymore. He then told me he got to see him when he stayed with his mommy. Oh my God. Ooh, oh shit. Okay. After probing some more, I found out he would come over on not school nights and have sleepovers. My nephew's mommy is my half sister. <laughs> when I approached my sister about it, she said she didn't do anything wrong because I talked to her ex. I only talked to her ex when I had to do supervised visitation for her ex because she was blaming him for abuse. Oh, okay. All right, so that explains that. Needless to say, we do not talk even when we are stuck in the same room at family gatherings. Did you hear the excuse she had for sleeping with her sister's man? Her excuse was, well, you talked to my ex about visitation issues, so that makes it okay to fuck your man. I'm pretty sure they were fucking long before he moved out. 
I, I know it. I feel it in my bones, okay? They were screwing before he moved out. The fact that she sends her son away to her house to babysit for her so she can fuck her man. Okay, next story. A few months into our four-year marriage to my now ex-husband, I walked into our apartment to find him and our friend slash neighbor naked in the shower. They explained how he was showering and she was waiting to use the shower and talking to him and got spooked when I came home, so she jumped in. You guys, that is not the dumbest shit you ever heard. She got scared and jumped in the shower with him. She shouldn't have been in the bathroom in the first place while he was taking a shower, for one. Okay, so let's keep going. Oh my God. I believe them, in all caps. I believe them. She did use our shower on one or two occasions and she was frequently naked around us because I thought we were all just comfortable. And she was bisexual and had told me she was interested in me, but not him. I'm totally straight though. In case you're wondering, after I kicked him out, he started dating the girl he was cheating on me with, but cheating on her with another girl then later live with her for a few years. I laugh every time I think about the fact that I believe them. Their whole relationship is not your typical relationship with, you know, having a female friend just walking around the house naked around you and your man. I can tell she was very young and very gullible. That's probably one of her first relationships. And that's pretty normal. When you're, when you're new to dating people, it's really hard to weed out the dirt bags. And if you've never been lied to, if you've never been deceived or misled, you're not gonna see it. And even after it happens, you still are just like in disbelief. You just don't even know that people exist that are capable of doing things like that. You just don't know. You gotta think back. Think back to when you, when you were younger and you first started dating and how it felt and just how weird it is. And and maybe, maybe you can recall some of those feelings. That's why she believed him. Because she just couldn't fathom that someone would be that sick and twisted and cruel and lie to her like that. In her mind, she probably would have never done that to someone else. So it's really hard for people like her to conceive that someone would do that to them. But I'm glad I see that she learned from that and she moved on with her life. The fact that she kicked him out is very commendable. Like she saw what he was and she let him go. You know what I mean? That's awesome. So good for her. All right, next story. I was with my ex fiance for almost five years. We had the perfect life, but we decided that we wanted to have kids and started trying after the second year. After three years of trying, we found out that my ex had low sperm count. And so our only solution was to go through the in vitro fertilization route. On the second try, I got pregnant with triplets <laughs> and we couldn't be happier. My father passed away in March, 2009. His father passed away in September, 2009 while I was pregnant. And then two weeks after that, I went in preterm labor. I lost my boys when I was five and a half months pregnant. And in December, 2009, I lost my grandpa who raised me. In one year, me and my ex fiance lost everything and our relationship suffered because of it. We tried to work it out, but after six months, I decided that I had to take a break and reevaluate our situation. I went to stay with my mother for a few days, but was still going home every day in the afternoon to take care of our dog. He brought the girl he was cheating on me with to our house every night and slept in our bed. One night I stayed in my house longer and he came home with her. The rest is history. He was cheating on me for six months. And a while after we ended our relationship, I spoke to him. He blamed me for losing the babies and was angry at me. That's why he cheated. Being betrayed by your other half and losing your children is the worst pain ever that I would not wish upon even my worst enemy. The fact that he blamed her for losing the kids was really a really shitty thing to do. I hate that guy. <laughs> I don't even know that guy and I hate him. All right, so next story. When I was younger, I went to a babysitter who was four houses down the road. 
Fast forward six years, she and her husband were going through a divorce and I felt bad for her. She called the house and I answered and she wanted me to ask my dad if he could help her move furniture out since her husband left her. So my dad goes and helps her with the furniture and I didn't think anything about it. Six hours go by, I called them and he wouldn't answer and I wondered if they needed extra help or something. So I go down there and knocked and nobody answered but heard them doing the dirty. I ran home in tears. Turned out they had been doing that for years and that's why her husband left her and that she was woman number five for my dad. We found the prepaid phone and all. She was woman number five. So apparently her dad has a track record for sleeping, for sleeping around with married women. That's his thing. That's, that's his motto. That's just what he does. Uh, and that was number five for him. So this is the fifth time he's destroyed a marriage. Man. Okay. All right, so next story. I was with my ex for eight months and I thought I was madly in love. No one had made me feel how he did. At Christmas, a girl kept calling him probably 30 times and it was past one in the morning. He told me it was his cousin. I believed it. One day after that, I was spending the night there and he gets a text from that girl and I see she called him baby. So I get mad and want to leave and he breaks down crying saying he was sorry that that's just what that girl calls people. And I could have his truck and everything because he felt so bad for just talking to her. I fell for that too, of course. See, she's young. This is probably her first relationship she's ever been in. And she's green and she's like just young and dumb and don't know her ass from a hole in the ground. And she's just believing everything this guy is. <laughs> then on our eight month anniversary, oh yeah. Nobody celebrates eight months of being together. Like mature, mature people don't celebrate eight months being together. So I can already tell this girl was like probably 15, 16 years old, had no business being in a relationship, spend the night, none of that with nobody. Um, then on our eight month anniversary, I called 100 times, he wouldn't answer. I finally get a call from a block number and the girl tells me to quit calling her boyfriend. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna read that again. I finally get a call from a block number and the girl tells me to quit calling her boyfriend. I couldn't believe it. Cheating hurts so bad. I never imagined how it would feel. She said they had been together six months and all that crap. The next day he calls me crying again saying that was his cousin and he knew the only way I would break up with him is if he was cheating. He said he didn't want to be with me because he was sick and didn't want to put me through that. Even after that, he would try to talk to me on my mom's phone through texting or through game chats. So much more happened with this punk and I don't really want to go into detail. It makes me so mad. But then I met my significant other a month after, so it's all good. Even though he did bad to me too, just held hands though. So I forgave him for that. Wow, how old is this girl? <laughs> um, well, I just don't even, this kind of left me a little speechless. All right, next story. Just found out I was cheated on while pregnant with my little one, with one of my ex best friends. I found out Wednesday, I will be posting a long event to explain everything and just get it out. Maybe try to get some advice, but I'll do that when I'm not on my phone with one hand nursing. Oh man, her boyfriend or whatever cheated on her with her best friend while she was pregnant. Pregnancy cheating is really, really common. It's like, it's very common. When I was 16, I was dating a guy who we thought was 19. Parents met him and all, loved him. So we date for a year or so and I got suspicious when I was at his house and two girls were creeping by his window trying to peek in. And that's when it all went crazy. I found out that he has this girl eight months pregnant and that he had been staying at her house when he wasn't with me. Being a stupid teenager, I tried to fight for him, 
not physically, but I end up being the one he stays with. Then comes the physical abuse from him. So I reach out to the other girl who is pregnant. She tells me how <laughs> she tells me how he is really 27 years old. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay, she tells me how he's really 27 years old and has a wife and three kids in Mexico. Oh, wow. My mom called the cops and he confessed everything, I guess. I don't know, I wasn't allowed to talk to him. I still can't believe I didn't see it. Like he seriously looked younger than 19. I was a stupid teenager. Her parents were stupid too. Her parents met him. Her parents should have known that he was older than 19 years old. Your parents are supposed to be like the gatekeepers, you know, like your parents are supposed to at least help filter out, you know, the creepy people. Your parents are like your first line of defense, okay? And the parents met this guy. He's 27 years old. He has a wife and kids, three kids in Mexico. And he's got another baby on the way. On top of that, he's beating this girl. He's beating this girl. She's 16 years old. Uh, moving on. Okay, next story. My ex was such a pig. He cheated on me while I was pregnant with my first child and had some lame excuse that it was his ex and she just sent him the videos because she missed him. Worst part was I believed it. I was also 19 though at the time, so rather naive. Then two weeks after I had my daughter, he fell asleep on the couch and left his phone unguarded for once. He usually kept it on him even while he was sleeping. I went into his videos and found one right away of him having sex with some skank. I then proceeded to throw his phone at his face and start beating him. I was screaming at him too while doing this and my neighbor actually started banging on our door ready to kick his ass thinking he was beating me. Best part was he had to try to convince the neighbor that he was the one getting hit. I kicked him out after that and he kept trying to get back with me for months after. Five months later, I met my now husband and my ex has had to watch my daughter grow up calling my now husband daddy because he's been there since she was six months old. Ex has been through several girlfriends since we broke up and all epic failures. Living well is the best revenge. See what I told you? See. This is another example of another young girl just starting out, like probably her first or second relationship, just totally caught off guard by this disgusting asshole. This guy was getting um, videos from girls. This guy was recording videos of himself having sex, um, which never made sense to me. Like if you're gonna cheat on someone, why would you record evidence of it and then keep it in your phone. Like that's the dumbest shit ever. It's like they don't even care if they get caught. All right, next story. My husband got another woman pregnant and the child is now a year old. It put great strain on us at first, but after long talks, I told him that I would not come between him and his son as long as the affair is over with her. But since the child was a month old, he stopped going to see the child on his own with no influence on me. It's like talking about the baby in our house is bad. He doesn't like to discuss him with me. But the problem is, it makes me happy that he won't see him because I feel like the slut should raise the kid on her own because she was doing everything in her power to take my husband from me. And I have proof that she kept asking him to get her pregnant by text. Now she see that the baby ran him off instead of keeping him. Should I feel this way? I kind of want my husband to be in his son's life because it's the right thing to do, but I don't push the issue because I love to see her swarm of the thought that he's not there. Okay, let me break this down how she's feeling. She wants to get back at this bitch that was sleeping with her man. And she can't physically fight her and she probably can't retaliate in any other way. You know, it's not like she can steal her identity and you know, um, run up a bunch of credit cards in her name. It's not like she can go and like blow up her car. Uh, it's not like she can, you know, really retaliate and get this bitch back. So naturally, really the only way that she can sort of retaliate or get her revenge is knowing the fact that she's suffering 
as a single mom knowing that this bitch lost okay like you tried to get my man but now you just ended up with a baby and you're on your own and he don't want you no more he don't want you or the kid like that's really the only way she can get back at this female it's irrational it is irrational because she's not thinking about the kid she's thinking about herself okay if you were to take away her wrath and her scorn and take away um um you know those feelings of wanting to get back at this female then she would um probably think more rationally she'd be thinking about the kid be thinking about that baby that needs a father like a lot of that comes with um maturity she sounds very hurt so what she's doing is she's staying quiet you know her revenge is happening secretly on the inside like it's not like she's gloating about it she's keeping it quiet to herself because she knows it's wrong she knows the what she knows the child is innocent she knows the child needs her father she mentions that but at the same time she wants her revenge I also think it's interesting that she stayed with him. I feel like she should have ended the relationship. And quite a few people left comments down below. They were saying that she's pathetic and um, she's blaming the other woman. She has every right to blame the other woman because um, she came for her husband. She knew that he was married. So another person said, you're wrong to want to see her punished. You should be blaming your husband because he made a vow He's the one that made a vow to you, not the other woman. But I feel like both people should be punished. Both were involved, you know, so they should both be punished. It's the baby that shouldn't be punished. It's the baby that's being punished in this situation. All right, next story. How do you cope with your husband having a baby with another woman? My husband had an affair with another woman, 10 years older. Me and my husband are 25, she is 36. This woman intentionally ruined my life because she told me that she will make sure that what me and my husband have will end. She gets pregnant six months after my daughter was born. Ooh, and I hate my husband for doing this to me, but, but I chose to forgive him after eight months of him begging and crying and telling me that he is not sure if that baby is his. I saw the baby and the baby does not look nothing like him. My daughter and his older son look like but this other child does not at all but even so that doesn't make it any better the thought of that kid ruins my day <laughs> it gets me angry i remember all the pain i can't stand the thought or sight of the child and i know it's wrong and pray to god every day to help me because i don't want to feel that way towards an innocent kid what do i do how can i deal with this i am not an evil person i love kids but not this one help her question had 14 answers. I already know, like most of them are brutal and very harsh, but I'm gonna try to answer this question myself. I just feel like the best way for her to deal with this, whether she stays with her husband or not, that kid is always gonna be like a stain in her life. Maybe prayer would help, but she's gonna just have to dig really deep and decide what kind of person she wants to be because at the end of the day that's what it comes down to what kind of person do you want to be do you want to be that person that hates little children <laughs> do you want to be that person that hates little innocent babies that did nothing wrong or you can grow and you can mature and you can like those misplaced feelings you can place them where they belong when she thinks of the baby like she it's natural to feel some type of way but if she's gonna hate anybody she should hate her husband like the thought of her husband should make her angry i i'd rather her say something like oh um i get so mad i want to cut his dick off or i can't stand him like i make him sleep in the truck or or like, um, he's disgusting, I hate the way he smells, or like, oh, I hate that bitch he had the baby with, like, fuck her. You know, I'd rather her be saying things like that because those are the people she should be angry at. And then after a while, she's gonna have to deal with those feelings, but that just sounds better to me than hating a baby, you know? She knows it's wrong. She doesn't want to feel those, those feelings. She knows it's wrong. That's why she prays about it and she's asking for help. She just needs to learn how to like redirect those feelings, you know? 
and put them where they belong because it doesn't make sense to have a baby. Okay, my fiance and I are in our early 20s and we're expecting our first child. Last year was really rocky for us and my fiance broke up with me in November and about two days after the breakup, I found out I was pregnant. He was extremely mean. He was extremely mean and said he didn't want anything to do with the baby or me. Sadly, I had my first abortion ever. So I had the abortion and I was extremely sad about my decision. My brother-in-law texted me and said if I ever needed someone to talk to, he'd be there. We decided to catch some dinner and he flirted with me. I don't know what I was thinking, but we had sex one time in December. I didn't do it again because I felt as though, because I felt as though it was a horrible thing to do even though his brother truly messed up. My ex ended up messing with another girl until January when he figured out he really did love me. I love this man with all my heart and took him back. His brother actually organized us getting back together. His brother and I decided we would never speak on what happened in the past and and nine months later, we have not spoken about it. We didn't tell my fiance and we don't even look at each other in any specific way. The issue I'm facing now is that I'm five months pregnant with my fiance's child. We're engaged and are planning to get married before the baby is born. I'm starting to feel extremely bad for what I've done and I feel like I do not deserve to be given all the love my fiance is giving. He's putting me on this high pedestal and it makes me want to kill myself. I know if I tell him it would hurt him. <laughs> I know if I tell him it would hurt him and he will not want to be with me. It will bring issues between him and his brother and in general he will be hurt like never before. I do not want to tell him but I don't know how to feel better to feel like a good human being. I feel terrible and I feel like I deserve to die. I never cheated on him and I catered to him. I love this guy with all my heart. Therefore, I don't know why I did what I did with his brother when he broke it with me. Please help me. <laughs> it's so far gone now. She's five months pregnant with this guy. This guy thinks she's the moon and the stars and the sun. <sighs> she can either take it to her grave and feel like shit feel suicidal the rest of her life or she can tell him and ruin his life as well and like then the baby so now the baby's involved I'm pretty sure he's going to despise that woman with everything he has because I mean why why did she I mean of all the people in the world all the dick in the world I mean the guys from high school, I mean, the guys at the bar, she fucks his brother of all people. I just, I don't understand. Cause he flirted with her and bought her a, a taco. Um, she fucked up in a major way. Like, I mean, she just, and then she went on she got back with them, didn't say anything. If she was gonna say anything, it, the best chance would have been before she got pregnant, you know? Now there's a baby involved. So, all right, so we're just gonna cut it short there. I just checked my Apple podcast and I had two reviews on there and like that made me so happy. So um, if you like, uh, please leave a review. That'd be really appreciated check out cheater stories on youtube so thanks for watching thanks for listening i will see you guys later and have a good week bye